Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and we're coming back for another installment of my top five. And this time you guys were doing the top five traps. Now of course, the last one was top five weapons, so following up is the traps and I'm gonna show you guys my personal top favorite. So sit back, relax, and I'm gonna show you what are the best traps in the game. Coming in at number five, it's the air bombs. Now, it's hard to choose between the red or the black because they're both very good. If I could choose one, it would be the black one. However, since they're both air bombs, we'll just use both of them. Uh, the reds, if you didn't know, are for taking out waves of enemies, and the black ones are for doing massive damage on big troops such as the Lava Hound and Dragons. Of course you guys, it brings a nice balance to the game to stop these air troops because the air defenses just can't handle all of the troops by themselves. So when you have traps that target multiple enemies like this, it's a good thing. And so the red air balloon is 173 damage and costs 6,000 gold. The black air balloon does 2100 damage and costs 20,000 gold when you max it out to level 3. So when you get those fully maxed out and you upgrade them, they can be really good at defending your base and taking out all of these air troops that seem to just overpower bases, especially Town Hall 10s up here in the champion level. Coming in at number 4 is the skeleton traps. Now why am I choosing the skeleton traps? air mode over the balloons, well that's because the balloons are a one use only, they hit the target and then they blow up, however with the skeletons they can keep fighting and they go for the next target. And in ground mode they help distract the enemies that are attacking your town hall, they can pull them away and get them away from your town hall. So the skeleton traps cost 6,000 gold when you first buy them and you can upgrade them from there so that they have more skeletons that pop out against the enemy. Now you get three of them and you should be able to place them wherever you want on the map because they only take one tile. Now they aren't meant to be strong opponents, they're pretty weak and they just serve a purpose of distracting if you're putting them in ground mode. But I believe they are perfect for balancing out the ground and air attacks now so that's why we have them. Coming in at number three is the spring trap. Now the spring trap is good for any target except for heavy troops like the golem and the pekka and heroes. Now spring traps are mainly used to stop giants and hog riders which is why you'll see a lot of bases designed specifically to stop these troops. Uh, when you have a bunch of them gathered up you can get at least three giants and a few archers and goblins if they run over them. Now you guys, I would choose the Santa Strike which is uh, something you get on Christmas, however it is only a once out of the year trap that we get. And so when players ran over it, Santa Claus would come and drop presents causing explosive damage on troops that are attacking your base. And uh, some people actually decided to decorate their base with it, making it a really cool trap that we got, so shout out to Santa Strike. Coming in at number two, it's the Mega Bomb. Now the Mega Bomb can actually go up to level four with 250 damage and cost 20,000 to rearm it. Now primarily, Mega Bombs are used to stop waves of enemies such as wall breakers, hog riders, wizards, giants, you name it, they stop them. And what I really like about the Mega Bomb now is that they can stop the hog riders, which some people might disagree with, I kinda do, but they were a little bit overwhelming for players down in the lower levels like Town Hall 8s because Hog Riders could just overrun bases and 3 star you without a problem. And so now that they uh, are doing such heavier damage on troops like Hog Riders, they, they just balance out the gameplay for us. So you guys, this is coming in at my number 2 spot, the Mega Bomb. Coming in at number 1 is the Hidden Tesla. Now I know what you guys are saying right now, guys son, this isn't a trap, it's a weapon. But you guys, I'm looking at it what it says, and it says it is a trap, and it serves like a trap, so if it is or if it isn't, I'll just treat it like one for my top fives. Oh, but I do like the hidden Tesla, it's invisible and it pops out just like any trap when enemies go near it, causing damage, and you can upgrade it to really high levels such as level 8 where it does almost 100 damage from 7 tiles away. 
Now what's really cool about the Tesla is it serves a purpose for taking out P.E.K.K.A.s which does extra damage on them and you guys I've gotten a lot of gameplay from fail Tages where people are trying to take out town halls and they just couldn't do it because these traps are in the way and they're stopping them preventing them from getting that town hall destroyed so my dudes Tesla is my number one traps thank you for watching please comment what your top five favorite traps are and I will see you next time Godson out